how's everybody doing today? I have a confession to make. This is like a total, to total truth bomb. I have never been to Aldi. You heard that right. I've never been to Aldi. So I'm going to remedy that today and take care of that situation. So I am sitting here in the Aldi parking lot um, at my local Aldi, and I'm going to head on in to see what it's all about. So let's check it out. Come follow me along on my Aldi journey. I guess you can say I'm an, an Aldi virgin, if you want to call it that. But let's check it out. I want to see what this is all about and what all the hype is about about this grocery store. So let's go. Okay, so I'm grabbing my bags. How many of you put all these bags in the back of your car and forget to bring them into the grocery store? That would be me. But I'm bringing one in today on my Aldi shopping expedition. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get this thing to work. How do you get it to work? observation is they have a lot of um, off-brand items which is fine mixed in with a few of the name brand items as well that's a really good price for bananas 43 cents a pound that's a good deal this is another good deal 219 for navel oranges that's a pretty good deal too. So they have a pretty nice selection of vegetables. Pretty reasonable prices as well. Let me get all this whole. Oh look, pineapples. I think we're gonna get some pineapple too. And they're Chiquita brand. Woohoo! Tip about looking for pineapples. The more yellow, obviously the more riper is, and it should be a lot more sweeter as well. Gonna pick up some baby spinach for Anthony. It's his favorite. I can make him a nice spinach salad. It's $2.49. That seems like a pretty good price too. It's organic as well. I'm going to pick up some eggs as well. Let's see. I don't actually need a whole lot of groceries because I did go to my local grocery store this week, but these are $1.37, so that's actually a really good price. I'm going to pick up a couple dozen. They even have a selection of clothing, toys, and then homewares and housewares as well. So that's pretty cool. So again, back to name brand, name brand versus off brand. Um, they obviously have a lot more of their off brand available, but they do have some new brand items as well, and that's actually not a bad price for them. $2.49 for queso fresco. I was planning on having um, a Mexican night this week, so I think I'm going to pick up a package of this. That's a pretty good price for them. It's $3.19 a pound. Everybody talks about how they're meats, so I wanted to check them out. I actually don't really need any meat in my house right now. Get 
two dollars off of this package. It's three sixty nine a pound, which is actually comparable to BJ's. All right, so now we're in the baking aisle, which is my happy place. Actually, I'm gonna pick up some yeast. It's dollars. Now. Oh, it's only 89 cents a package, so that's pretty good. They even have Lost House cookies. Okay, these are like a guilty pleasure. I have a recipe on the blog coming very soon on how to make your own from scratch. Okay, well, that was an exciting, eventful Experience. Well, I survived my first Aldi shopping trip. I even have the receipt to prove it. There it is. Can you see it? There's a glare on my thing. I spent $60.89. Um, and this was items that I didn't necessarily need. Of course, I can always find items at the grocery store that I don't need, but have to have. Um, so yeah, would I go back? I would go back. Would I make Aldi part of my weekly or bi-weekly grocery shopping rotation? Probably not. Um, the truth is I live, um, since I live in the country on the farm, the closest chain grocery store is about 20 minutes from me. So um, it's not a hop, skip, and a jump away. Aldi is about 25 minutes from me in either direction. So. Um, I'm not sure if I necessarily, I would go back definitely, but I probably wouldn't add Aldi to my um, my weekly or bi-weekly shopping rotation. Um, my thoughts, um, I think if you are, um, if you don't mind off-brand items, um, then definitely Aldi is a really good choice. You know, they obviously have a lot of their brand, um, um, which is their off-brand, mixed in with a few name brand items. Um, so if that doesn't bother you, then definitely have at it and try it out. Um, I don't mind off-brand items. Um, you know, I buy at my local grocery store, I buy a lot of um, off-brand canned goods because I think they are, they're obviously cheaper and they are just the same. So um, that's my one observation. Um, I will say that their produce is very, very well priced. Um, being a produce girl, coming from a produce family, um, I can tell you that their prices were really, really good um, for that kind of stuff. So that that is a plus to shopping at Aldi. I, um, like I said, I don't know about their meats because I didn't need any, we did not need any in, in the house. So I did not purchase any, but um, they had a nice selection. Um, you know, it's not just like a typical grocery store um, where you can have, like if you need something from the butcher or there's a butcher shop there and they're packaging the meats right then and there, which a lot of the times when you buy name brand, like Purdue Farms um, items or something like that, they are just shipped into the grocery store and put out on the shelf. So um, I did not try any of that, but um, I will someday maybe. I'll try that out the next time. So my observation is I'm no longer an Aldi newbie. I'm not an Aldi virgin anymore. Um, would I go back? Definitely. Um, I just don't know, like I said, if I would make it part of my weekly shopping routine. Um, and the funniest part was I had the hardest time figuring out how to get the quarter or how to get the cart out when I put the quarter in it. That took me about four minutes. So once I conquered that, I was all good. Um, so that is all I have for today. Thank you so much for following. Again, my name is Melissa and I am from thefarmgirlgabs.com. You can hop on over to my site where I share lots of farm fresh, farm fresh recipes, crafty ideas, and lots of family fun. Um, if you like this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. You can also click that bell so you can get instant notifications of when I post new videos here on my site. And of course, if you would subscribe, I would love you to death. So that's it for now. And again, I'll see you over at thefarmgirlgabs.com. Until next time, I will see you soon. And also, I'm not done yet. If you have any places that you would like me to visit, leave me a comment below and 
I'm always up for shopping. So I will uh, head on out and check it out if you have any great places that you think I should check out and I can make a video of that too. So again, thanks. It's Melissa from thefarmgirlgabs.com. I hope you'll follow along and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.